Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario Alvarado, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my Airbnb in Mexico City. I am wearing my sunglasses because as you guys can see, the sun is pretty strong and it's shiny, and I'm also gonna give you guys a tour, and we're about to head outside. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the, uh, the, the balcony. All right, guys, here we go. So I'm outside here in the patio. One of the things I wanna mention, the reason why you know, staying in Airbnb is so awesome compared to staying in a hotel is because you get a lot more utilities, guys. You get a wash and dryer, you get a refrigerator, you got a kitchen to make food. And a lot of these Airbnbs also have patio areas so you can sit out, get something to eat, have a drink. Uh, and also you have the flexibility to stay in neighborhoods like La like Condesa, uh, which is kind of like a residential area with you, you don't have hotels here. So staying in a residential area, a really nice area, gets you the opportunity to kind of get a feel of what locals, uh, what is it like to feel like a local here and live here. Because like Condensa is a residential area, there are no hotels here. Uh, rent an Airbnb in an area like this will give you the feeling of what does it feel like to be a local living in Mexico City and La Condensa. Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much, guys. This is the entrance of the place. When you first come in, you get this amazing view of full length, uh, pretty much a balcony combined with the living room, which is pretty awesome. So one of the things I really like about having uh, staying at an Airbnb versus a hotel is the availability of a washer and dryer. Uh, this is pretty amazing, you guys, uh, because you know after staying. Uh, at a place for a couple days, even a week or so, you run out of clothes. And sometimes you want to kind of just use some of the same jeans or whatever the case may be. And, and you want to, you need to wash them. So having a wash and dryer is amazing, which hotels don't have that. Uh, now, even a lot of uh, Airbnb places also have a refrigerator, you know, like full refrigerator with a freezer on the top. And you got, of course, you got the refrigerator at the bottom where you can store food, drinks, beer, uh, whatever the case uh, may be, you can store a lot of things. And of course, the kitchen. Uh, I love the kitchen because sometimes, hey, I just wanna eat some breakfast at home. I don't wanna go out to eat anywhere. I wanna get some fresh coffee. Uh, a lot of uh, hosts do offer a uh, coffee machine so you can make your own fresh coffee. A lot of them even actually include a uh, coffee. So, you know, it's, here, here she has some uh, coffee so you can kind of make your own. Um, so that's pretty awesome, guys. And another great thing is they offer uh, uh, dishes. Some of them have dishes, utensils, so you can eat uh, in the, at the Airbnb unit. And uh, of course, the kitchen, so you can cook your own food. Um, here's a table. And these are full length windows, uh, which are pretty amazing. You get a lot of sunlight and it's, it's an amazing view. You get an amazing view. And here, you, of course, you have some uh, uh, decoration. You got the couch, uh, smart TV. So this is an Airbnb Plus. So if you want to get the best experience out of an Airbnb, go for Airbnb Plus. It's a little bit more expensive, but you have a lot more amenities, a lot of more utility. Like this uh, smart TV, so you could actually connect your uh, Netflix, uh, your YouTube, and watch it in the TV. Uh, and of course, they offer the internet, which is an author, of course, another uh, plus of a staying at an Airbnb. A lot, actually, most Airbnbs have internet included, so uh, it's an amazing part of it. So. One of the things I want to mention that I really like about this place is this laminated uh, wooden uh, doors and also walls, uh, which is pretty awesome. And of course, they got laminated floors too. Um, and then also the kitchen, of course, combined with the uh, cabinets, wooden cabinets. So I really like that. And you also have, actually, you got concrete walls here, but uh, the rest of the detail is laminated at wood. So I really enjoy that, I really like that. But over here is uh, the bedroom over here. My wife is in there. I'll show you the bedroom in a bit. Uh, here is the bathroom. Uh, it's pretty decent size. And of course the toilet, shower here and there. Everything's there. Um, and let's go to the uh, balcony. So that's how you open the balcony. It's a decent, easy way to open it. And of course, once you're inside, it's actually a bar cart. So for a lot of the Airbnb um, um, people who stay here in this place, they could you know have some beer and kind of bring out over here and kind of have to have some drinks over here. But so it actually kind of looks like an avocado tree. I'm not sure if it is an avocado tree, but really nice little detail. 
we got some shrubs over here, some greens, and uh, it actually looks like a main road over here. So you get pretty loud sometimes, but once you close the windows, everything uh, it's about right. But this is actually pretty, pretty cool. Chairs to sit down. All uh, right here. So guys. And we are in Condensa, Mexico City. La Condensa is actually one of the higher end neighborhoods. Really nice neighborhood. Uh, and actually here's a, another little chair and some, got some trees over here, some plants over here. It makes the place look really nice. So, hope you guys like this. And here's uh, from the outside in. Pretty, very nice place. I hope you guys like this video. Take care, guys. Learn something. Have a good one. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to quickly show you guys a bonus video of the Airbnb that I got in Merida, Yucatan. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, what's up, guys? I want to quickly show you guys uh, the Airbnb place in Merida, Mexico, Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. Uh, this is a really nice place. I was actually very, very impressed when I first got in here. Uh, there's this huge uh, stairway. I, I like to paint it on the floors, with the tile, the color. Uh, you see this little cool little... Uh, kind of like a uh, star looking window. These little, uh, I don't know what you call these plants. I don't even know what type of plants these are. Uh, these are really nice little uh, lighting right here. This fan over here. A lot of space. A uh, lot, a lot of space. You can see the TV. You see the blue cobalt. And then you see the tile here. It's the kitchen. Um, quite big kitchen, kitchen actually. And they have kind of an electric, if you want to cook something as a coffee. Get all the utensils. I like the table. I like the little art piece. I like the the wall that is made out of out of uh, stone. Stone, that's pretty awesome. I like that. And see the kitchen, the window's right there. I don't want to open it because I have the air conditioner on. Uh, I have the uh, refrigerator right here. It's a little small refrigerator, but that's good enough. Um, I only need to store drinks. So... <laughs> I like beer and, and water, so that's all we need. Microwave in the bottom. Huge, huge house. So, oh, I like these uh, wooden uh, poles. Uh, look, come in here, there's a door. And they gave us, you know, some towels, some soap right here, shampoo, things like that. I really like this. Uh, I feel like uh, maybe a little coffee table here would be nice, but every, every but it looks good. You know, they have this little ambient light in here that you could turn on and off. I really like that. Um, so that's nice. The air conditioner. And there's our luggage right here. And this is my jacket. And they have a, a little place where you can put your jacket. So this is kind of like the, the bigger room, the master bedroom. Uh, it has two bedrooms, kind of like a queen size and, and a full size or actually more like a full size in a in a single um i think in my opinion that should be in a queen size or just one room but i feel like they were kind of gearing towards a family room so this is a the uh another small room um and here you have a single uh, another air conditioner and this is the bathroom bathroom looks pretty nice and that's pretty much it guys so i'm trying to get some ideas because um, I want to have my own Airbnb spot in Mexico. So I'm, I, I'm kind of getting the colors, the color combination, uh, you know, the plants, uh, the ceilings, like everything is detailed. Now, now, of course, every single Airbnb that I've been to has an internet. And actually, this internet is actually really fast. Here we got the TV. So it looks pretty cool, guys. That's pretty much it. Talk to you soon. Bye. So I wanted to quickly mention that uh, one of my favorite things about this house are these wooden beams. You see all these wooden beams all over the ceiling here in this in the living room. You also see it here in this, uh, I don't even know what you'll call this, uh, but in the rooms as well, you see these wooden beams and you see some over here. I really like that detail in there and then the color uh, contrast. That's really awesome. One other thing I want to mention, you see these, uh, these paintings are actually these, um, these, uh, Hey, what do you call these uh, these things? Los cuadros. Hey, what do you call cuadros? So if you see these paintings of uh, dragon fruit, uh, it has a color combination with the wall and also the white sheets. So that's really cool. I really like that. 
So I wanted to just bring that up. And you see the green there. Again, it, it, it kind of matches with the green and the, and the plant. So that's really, really cool. Little, really cool details that I really like.